Hi, I'm Ashley Park with ID8 TV, and I'm here with Jim Elliott, who is the founder of Dive Heart. Jim, can you tell me a little bit about what inspired the creation of Dive Heart? Absolutely. My blind daughter uh, actually inspired me when I was in the media business. She struggled with being blind, and I got her involved in downhill skiing. Quickly, that turned her life around. And, I, and since the 80s, I've been guiding and teaching blind skiers, thinking, you know, if diving or if skiing can do this, I know what diving can do because there's no gravity. So I left the six-figure income in the media business, and now I, I, I'm a volunteer. I don't, I don't uh, draw an income. And, and incorporated Dive Heart in 2001, but helped children, adults, and veterans with disabilities. It started out to help build confidence, independence, and self-esteem, and it's actually turned into a therapy. We're doing research with university medical centers all over the country. We found some really exciting stuff about autism and scuba therapy, which a lot of people don't know, um, and also about pain management. If you get deep enough, there's an extra output of serotonin, and we've had guys with chronic spinal cord pain who've been pain-free up to three weeks at a time. And we have like 85 YouTube videos that, that go into all sorts of stuff about uh, this benefiting people with disabilities. But, you know, it's not just for people with disabilities, but obviously zero gravity. Physical therapy and zero gravity can benefit all of us. So um, we're here at the show to talk about a lot of different things we're doing. The, the research is one, and then the, you know, the adaptive training is another. You know, Patty and NAWI and SDI and SSI are all training agencies that teach scuba diving. However, we, we, what we do with our adaptive training materials is introduce the adaptive dive team protocols that really someone with a disability needs to know and the team needs to know roles and responsibility, assessment tools that never existed before, so that that diver with a disability, whether it's, whether it's a traumatic brain injury or, a, or autism, can, can look at the scuba materials from PADI or, or SDI or NAWI and say, you know, I think I might need help with this or I might not need help with that. Do I need a full face mask? Do I not? You know, how is my team going to work with me? And they need to be responsible for that too. So they're an active member of the team and this team approach really has is innovated things that had never existed before in adaptive scuba and we're proud to be here at the show to help introduce that to, to folks locally. Awesome. And what do you hope for the future of Dive Heart? Well, we, we're moving the, the research ball forward, so we're hoping to write the Bible on physical therapy and zero gravity with these medical universities. Our training program, we're really hoping that instructors and, and dive operations all over the world who may never have a chance to actually get in the water and train with us, if they go online, they could do the online training and get the manuals and then use that for indigenous populations in their community so they can serve people with disabilities anywhere in the world. That's one of our goals. We also want to build the deepest warm water pool for research, rehabilitation, education, training, and to provide vocational opportunities for people with disabilities. Now, I'm, we're based in Chicago, so selfishly we want to do it there, but it's the center of the country. It's very accessible, and um, it's, it's near two major international airports, Midway and Chicago O'Hare, so people from all over the world will be able to come there. So the Italians just built 137 foot deep pool so we figure we have to make ours 150 so right you know of course yeah but we think it'll it'll, it'll revolutionize rehabilitation and it, warm deep water is what we need something can find you you know you people can't run to the keys or cozumel or cayman all the time so if we can do this and and create this template we feel it can be replicated around the world so we're also talking to funders trying to find somebody to help us do a hundred million dollar raise to do this, but it'll be an investor donor type of program where people that help us donate at this first one, they'll be part of the team then with the for-profit company that helps gen you know generate these all over the world. So it's a lot of ambitious things going on right now, but it's really exciting. Definitely. Thank you so much, Jim. Thank you. I'm Ashley Park with ID8 TV and this is Dive Heart.